Estelle. Estelle. She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Hmm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle. Estelle. Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm coming. Do they not have nicknames where she's from? Yeah, he's my partner, repeat. Oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Did you actually understand what repeat was saying? No. Yeah, I guess that was a stupid question. followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay. And I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. Alright. Let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil. But the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritya gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? 
It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you looking at? Humanity at work. A tenacious attachment to this life. Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Hmm? Are you talking about Blastia? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? 